This is a review of the Waffle Farm Campground near Coldwater, Michigan. And this is our site at Waffle Farm. It's actually quite a nice site, a uh, nice grassy site. Uh, partly sunny, partly shady. Pretty nice. This site has uh, electric and water, but no sewer. Some sites have full service with sewer, so it depends on what site you get. And like many private campgrounds, most of these, or at least half of these sites, are seasonal. And there are plenty of uh, daily sites, though. You just have to reserve ahead because it's a pretty popular place. Well, this is the beach at the campground. Kind of small, but not too bad. Now, this is Craig Lake. It's one of six lakes, I think, known as the Chain of Lakes near Coldwater, Michigan. And basically, there's a channel or a creek or something between each one of the lakes so that with a boat you can actually traverse the entire uh, chain of lakes. Well the park here has a uh, boat launch and you can rent a uh, paddle boat or fishing boat. Everything is a little bit uh, of a nickel and dime thing I think because I think you have to pay extra for a couple bucks for the uh, boat launch, a couple bucks to use the beach, but this is a well-maintained park, um, very clean, and uh, it's only around 32 a night anyway, so it's not too bad if you got to spend a couple extra bucks, I suppose, to go to the beach or whatever. At the campground, there is a camp store as well, and it's pretty well stocked, actually. It's uh, pretty nice inside. you got a lot of stuff that you can buy if you forgot to buy it or forgot to bring it, but the town of Coldwater is only a few miles away so you know you can go to supermarket and things there if you have to as well. Now the park also has a driving range, a uh, miniature golf course and an arcade in this building so they got uh, quite a variety of little things to do as well they have a nice uh, concrete uh, basketball court here. There is free Wi-Fi at Waffle Farms but anything else that's free you get what you pay for and it's adequate usually during the week or in the off hours, but especially when there's a lot of people here, uh, it gets awful slow because there are, of course, a lot of people using it. I also found that the 3G connection is quite good uh, here as well, so that's an option.